Good morning, church. Today is Thursday, March 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day. You can see that I am wearing a green cap today, which I uh, probably should not have taken off because I see that my hair looks crazy. Uh, this is Tyler, and I am excited to welcome you to this video, another installment in our series of Linton Reflections. Tomorrow's video that will post Friday, March 18th, is going to be featuring a beloved member of our community. It's a video that we shot yesterday that I am really, really, really thrilled to share with y'all. So this will be the last video of the week that you will see me in. So for those of you uh, who I won't see again until Sunday, blessings. It's been fun. Uh, as today is St. Patrick's Day, I thought that we could uh, share this short prayer of St. Patrick together. I'm accessing this from like uh, catholic.org, so it seems a pretty reputable source, and I will post the prayer in the comments if you would like to pray along with me. I invite you now to take whatever posture of prayer you take when you go to God in prayer, as we together, as one community, even through distance of time, by the power of the internet, raise our voices together to go to God. Let us pray. As I arise today, may the strength of God pilot me, the power of God uphold me, the wisdom of God guide me. May the eye of God look before me, the ear of God hear me, the word of God speak for me. May the hand of God protect me, the way of God lie before me, the shield of God defend me, the host of God save me. May Christ shield me today, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit, Christ when I stand, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. Amen. What a beautiful prayer. I commend that prayer to all of you. And in case you can hear my neighbor's baby crying, I'm going to keep this take and just put that up anyway. Because at Northwest Hills, we believe that the voices of children are a beautiful thing and that God calls the children to come to God. And I want to honor that here today, too. So friends... It's been a fun week. We'll see you tomorrow.